Hey everyone, I figured I'd do a quick video of my uh, disaster approximately uh, 24 hours ago last night and uh, the reason why I didn't do anything outside. As you can see, this is a sump pump pit and there is now two sump pumps in here. The more rusty one that's actually sitting higher is the old original one and the one behind it is a brand new one. Here's the box, just tells you what I put in. If you're really, really interested, feel free to pause the video. Here's uh, some more details. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we have some uh, new equipment installed in here. A uh, iron filter and a water softener. So the iron the softener is the first one, the iron filter is the second one. And every night, um, the iron filter back flushes. And it wasn't a problem up till last night, but the installer who put the equipment in, and actually there's perfect timing. So I'm get a test on it. Um to put it in, didn't put the discharge line in the pit properly and didn't secure it into the pit. So we almost flooded the entire basement last night. Luckily I heard the water sensing alarm go off and I was able to stop it. But um, just issues that you have, you know the equipment's been installed for about three weeks now. It's the first time we had the issue. So anyways, we have the primary sump pump now and we have a secondary sump pump. And I figured to come in here, it does this every night at midnight. Figured to see how it's going to work. And make sure the uh, primary sump pump will keep up. And if we have any issues, the uh, secondary sump pump will kick in. So I figured this is why I didn't do anything outside today. Because uh, I was dealing with this lovely disaster right here. And it's reasonably chilly in this room. And... Being down an extra three feet in the ground definitely was not fun. So luckily, all the stuff just plugs in, and a little bit of plumbing right there, and I had to add a discharge line to one of the house, which wasn't a huge deal. So this is going to do its thing. If anything interesting comes up, I may video, but uh, hopefully the sump pump works. There we go. It just kicked on again. See, last night the original pump wouldn't even keep up for some reason. I think it's the volume of water because the basement had flooded and I had to have the unit unplugged for a bit. Most most likely why I'm definitely not sticking my hand in there with a, a sump pump that's plugged in. That's just stupid. So that's uh, what, what, what happened today and what happened last night and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep it right next like always and uh, please try and comment.